G'day and welcome to Wine Week. I'm Danny. And I'm Brad. And I've got my uh, phone in my hand for an actual reason, not because I'm expecting a call, but because we're going to have a look at an iPhone app a little later in the show. Yes, yes. Look, Danny loves his iPhone. I'm, I'm getting one shortly, I think. But uh, yeah, this is quite a nifty little app. Yeah, but let's start off with some wine. Firstly, we're starting off with a Riesling shock horror. No, not really. Uh, this is the Grant Burge Thorn Eden Valley Riesling. Now, Grant Burge well known for being a big Barossan producer that you know, really does reds really well. But they also know that to do a good Riesling, Barossa's not exactly the spot for it. You step just out of the Barossa Valley and you can get to the Eden Valley, which is a little bit higher up in altitude, uh, a little cooler, gets a little bit more rainfall through there. Look, they really are right next door to each other, but the Eden Valley's a great spot for Riesling and the guys at Grant Burge obviously worked this out and have produced the Thorn, which is a lovely little Riesling. Uh, look, low teens, this one is a cracker. You know, it's got that standard kind of lime, green apple sort of notes, a little bit of acid on the back finish that means that it matches up so well with Asian foods. This one, definitely have a look at it. Yeah, look, and as we talk about with Rieslings, you can probably rattle off about 10 Rieslings around $14, $15, which are just exceptional value year in, year out. So this is one to add to the list if you haven't tried it before. Yeah, give it a go. All right, I'm going to have a look at a wine from a, a group of guys that we've actually become a bit fans of recently. This is um, from Kukatama, and this is their uh, Shiraz from 2007 Vintage. Now, we've had a look at a few 2007s from different regions. We've had a look at some Margaret River stuff, which is showing up really well. Some stuff out of South Australia as well. This is from the, the River, Riverina region, and uh, this is from their vineyard on the, the banks of the Murrumbidgee River. Now, not really well known for its Shiraz, but here, this one comes in at a fantastic price point. Recommended retail is kind of mid, mid-teens, 15, 16. We actually picked this up for just under $13 a bottle. And here, you're getting really good bang for your buck. Look, it, it, it isn't really a wine that is built for the long haul. It's, it's designed to drink now, but what it does, it does superbly. Very full-bodied, rich Shiraz, uh, which uh, is great to see coming out of that region. So it's the, uh, the Kukatama Shiraz, really worth a look. Yeah, not just sun, sunshine in a bottle. There is a fair bit of style in that as well, which is great to see at that low price point. Now, mm. last thing we're going to look at this week is an application for the iPhone called simply Seller. Now, this is aimed very much at people that uh, might be like you or I, where you, know, you wander down to the bottle shop, pick something up, want to know that you've got it uh, kind of stored away for future reference if you decide you like it. Uh, look, it's not an application designed if you've got 5,000 bottles stored at home. Very much designed for the sort of thing where you might have a few dozen bottles sitting around. You might want to remember which ones of them were really good, which ones of them you'd buy again once you drink them, uh, and know what you've got and what you've uh, finished this last week. Adding wines is very simple. Uh, and you get through the process even taking a, uh, a shot of the bottle to add it to the application so that what you see in your cellar is very much a visual representation. Now, this, a dollar US, a dollar twenty at the moment, Australian on the iPhone app store, real bargain at the moment. It's going to go up because it's just a launch sale. Love these guys. They do a great coffee application as well if you're into your coffees. Mm. Uh, Aussie based. This one, a little ripper. Definitely, if you're not someone that's got several thousand bottles, if you've got a, you know, a few dozen sitting around, this is one for you. Yeah, we love our technology and all of this mobile stuff that's happening at the moment is fantastic to see. And when you can combine wine, mobile and fun, what more can you ask for? It's a great deal. So anyhow, that's it for this week on Wine Week. We'll see you all again next week. See you next week.